Hey there everyone, Hatesh here, back again with another video, and yes, you heard it right, Bootstrap 5 is out in alpha, it's been a couple of weeks now, but notice one very important thing. Bootstrap 5 is announced, and people who are trying to learn Bootstrap are already in confusion. They are thinking, should I learn Bootstrap 4, or should I wait till Bootstrap 5 is out? Should I even learn Bootstrap in the era when we have grid layout, flexbox, semantic UI, materialized CSS? Should I be learning or should I invest my time in learning Bootstrap? And since you're already subscribed to this channel or somehow YouTube has given you this video as in your feed, you're gonna get answer to all of these questions. And don't worry, I have read all from top to bottom about the release on all these alpha updates of Bootstrap 5. I'm gonna give you all of them. Let's get started. Okay, so you don't like bootstrap and it's okay, it's 100% okay. A lot of people have this argument that every website which is made out of bootstrap looks bootstrapping, which is not really the fact. Uh, people really don't know much about this, that bootstrap is now SaaS based. So everything is available, you can change everything from the default primary color to their warning color to danger color, but that's a completely different thing. Now here is a fact that you should know. Yes, there are different other frameworks, but Bootstrap is kind of a still industry de facto. No matter you like it or not, you will be using it in your corporate environment one day or the other. Now usually corporates like to just uh, pick out some chunks out of the Bootstrap or maybe they want to make it a bit more customized so that ha they have their own version of Bootstrap. So familiarizing yourself with the bootstrap is always a good idea. I'm not saying that go ahead, become a master of it, but at least have basic idea of how the classes are being written in the bootstrap and how they are being implemented and used. It's gonna serve you really, really great in the long run. So make sure you like it or not, it's a good idea to spend a few days or few weeks on understanding the bootstrap. It's gonna serve you well. One very common question that comes from the beginner, should I be learning Bootstrap 4 or should I wait for Bootstrap 5? I would say yes, 100% you can learn Bootstrap 4 and even when the Bootstrap 5 is totally out, you can still go for all the Bootstrap 4 learning material that you're already having or you are trying to have it. The reason for saying that is Bootstrap 5 is not something which is written from the ground up. It's already adding some of the icing on the cake. So whatever the knowledge and skills you're gonna get by learning from the Bootstrap 4 documentation or however you're learning that, it's gonna be 100% useful in the Bootstrap 5. You're gonna just get few more classes to work with and you can actually grab them on the go if you already have good knowledge of Bootstrap 4. So don't sweat it out too much. Bootstrap is already very stable and is really fine to work with it and also very easy to understand. So don't sweat it out too much. You can 100% go for Bootstrap 4 as well and migrating to Bootstrap 5 is gonna be just a piece of cake. So what's really special in Bootstrap 5? What are the changes that you should know about? To be honest, not much. The highlight is gonna be in the Bootstrap 5 is they got rid of the jQuery. And to be very honest with you, we are in 2020. Already we got Vue, React, Angular, and a bunch of other things which are doing all the jobs that a single page application or spa should be doing up. Adding jQuery on top of that, honestly, I haven't seen much of the example where somebody is using React as well as jQuery at the same time. It doesn't really make sense. All the things that need to be done are being done in these front-end framework. We are typically using Bootstrap for different stuff. So getting rid of the jQuery makes sense 100% at least in this present time. And they did the same. Now Bootstrap is not with the jQuery. If you need it for very special use case, you can actually add it on your own. But Bootstrap is now no longer being dependent on jQuery. And this is going to invite a whole lot of developer community back onto the Bootstrap because they actually left it just because of the jQuery. Now it's gone, they're gonna come back onto the Bootstrap 5. In the Bootstrap 5, a lot of classes are coming in, a lot of classes are going out, but making a pure statement on that right now is not a good time because changes are not finalized, but there are a few things which are finalized and you should know about it. First and foremost, the fonts are very, very optimized now. Previously, the font used to remain a bit longer or a bit bigger, and there was there was, you had to write some of the advanced media queries to get them a bit shorter or a bit more uh, shrinked or condensed down. But now the things are different. 
the fonts are following the rems which is a good unit to have on the mobile world and they're going to be automatically adjusted a lot of times so that's the one thing which is my favorite another thing which a lot of you might be really really happy to know that now they have worked a lot on the gutter width if you remember bootstrap has got these 12 column layout and between these 12 columns there was this gutter width this was a problem in some of the cases now it is totally customizable and even there is a plan of adding some of the utility classes for these gutter widths so that you can just change them on the fly it's almost like implementing a bit and pieces of atomic css to be honest i'm a big fan of these utility classes in the bootstrap it has changed entirety of the things and once you get used to of these utility classes it's almost like no going back so i'm a big fan and definitely in the bootstrap 5 a whole lot of new utility classes are coming up once the changes got finalized i will definitely make up a separate video in showing you how to use them and how they can just change the entirety of your workflow Apart from this, there are a few minor changes here and there. For example, there are just some of the hype that there might be some new colors. I don't think so that's going to happen because Bootstrap is already very subtle about the colors. And if anybody needs anything else, it's SaaS based. You can add it on your own. So I don't think so that's going to happen. And yes, there are going to be some utility classes for some tables. Uh, the forms are going to modify and look a little bit different, not drastically, but a little bit different. If you want anything more customizable, you can cook that up in the SaaS or it is recommended. I always recommend this, just, just please don't use the pure bootstrap. Try to add a bit and flair of your own CSS on that. It already is giving you basic layout and structure and adding just modification is much more easier. That's the whole intention of the bootstrap. But again, I'm nobody to say that you should always do that. Feel free to do whatever you like, it's your website. So I'll be making, a, making more videos as soon as some more releases comes up and the biggest thing that you should it's not really that big, but yeah, their logo is changed a little bit. It's more iconic now to the curly braces. So I haven't mentioned that, so thought, yeah, it's worth mentioning that. And I'll leave the link in the description section about the new blog that they are posting up about the updates and changes. And feel free to give them even recommendation on their GitHubs and all of that. A lot of fixes are coming up. It's a nice programming community, so feel free to give your efforts as well. And I'm really all excited for this new version of Bootstrap. I'm going to be creating more videos on that very, very soon. So that's it for this one. Make sure you hit that subscribe. And I'm going to catch you up in the next video. You call me a saint, but you know I'm a stranger. A willing and able to do what you want. You think I'm a thinker, but I'm just a singer. A busy and pretty, just making believe. Obscurity, don't let me ever be this alone. I'm falling, I'm falling, I'm falling, I'm falling, I'm falling. Shouldn't be trusting me, I could be making it all up, you know.